All right, guys, we have our next AEW World Championship match set and ready to go. It's a big match, big stakes, and with a pretty big stipulation as well. That's right, Adam Page versus Adam Cole in a Texas death match for the AEW World Championship made official last night on AEW Dynamite. Uh, boy. Adam Page brought some fire. Uh, he brought some fire that I, I hadn't seen from him in a while. And some fire that I thought and have thought for a while that he's really needed uh, as champion to take himself to the next level. We saw that here. And the result is he sold the match. He sold the rivalry, sold the match with Cole, sold the stakes, and then added the stipulation. And, you know, AEW does these kind of stipulations a lot. Um, so... You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this can differentiate itself. But the bottom line is, um, I think it's a match that people are going to want to see more now because of the work that Adam Page did to, 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 to make it happen. And, to, to, and again, he really showed that fire. And it was um, a, good, a good moment for him as champion on, on the microphone. In other news, Samoa Joe returns to the wrestling ring with AEW. What a return <laughs> that was, right? I mean, you can't. You, you can't draw draw it up any better than that. I mean, Joe looked like a million bucks out there, and yeah, it was it was a bit squash in nature, but who cares? You know, Joe is Joe, and he's always had this intense presence when he walks to the ring. The crowd felt it; they gave him a big pop, and I think Samoa Joe right now, for his point in his career, is in a really really good company. I think there's a really good synergy there. Um, and he should uh, and she, he should be able to deliver uh, in a big way. Um, also in the news, PW Insider is reporting that Lacey Evans uh, will be at SmackDown on Friday. Uh, there's no indication as to what she'll be doing there or if she'll be on TV, but um, uh, the report does indicate that she will be uh, present on Friday for SmackDown. We haven't seen Lacey Evans in quite some time. She's been uh, on the side uh, having a baby, you know, and, uh, and growing her family and, and taking care of her family. And, and now apparently she's ready to, to make her return. She has been out since February of 2021. And when she left, it was in a bit of a, a kind of, I don't want to say controversial, but an awkward uh, program with Charlotte Flair and Ric Flair. Um, no word on whether or not <laughs> they're going to revisit that, but um, she'll be back on uh, on Friday in, in, in some capacity. And then some rapid fire topics here. Fightful Select reporting an interesting story on Vince McMahon coming out of WrestleMania. Uh, people around him <laughs> in WWE did not want uh, him to be doing that that match. No surprise there. Also, no surprise that <laughs> McMahon went ahead and did it anyway. Um, and the report from Fightful indicates that. Uh, you know, he's in pretty good spirits, all things considered, given the <laughs> poor performance and also just the worst stunner bump of all time. Uh, the, the His mindset, per the report, is that if people could laugh about it and if people were entertained, then uh, then he's good with it too. And last but not least, uh, the AEW Dynamite members are in. 979,000 viewers uh, for last night's episode um, on TBS. Uh, it's a 1% increase from last week, so uh, they're consistent with a little bit of growth, but uh, nothing, that, uh, nothing that Tony Khan is going to be super upset about. 979,000. Pretty, uh, pretty solid, and that is per per WrestleNomics. I'm P PW Torch Assistant Editor Zach Haydorn. Uh, please go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, we'll be bringing you this news content regularly. Um, Wade's got some new YouTube content. Uh, Tyler Sage and I will have uh, a couple shows going up. I ranted uh, in a brand new uh, <laughs> in a brand new series yesterday, right here on the PW Torch YouTube channel. So do us a favor, click subscribe, um, and uh, I think you'll be happy that uh, that you did. Until next time, folks.